right, we're just going to go ahead and get into this. Now, these short scopes for the week do go up on my YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is called Ask a Medium, the same as this at Reverend Ivy Rivera. And your extended weekly horoscopes for this week are already up there for each zodiac sign. So please do check it out. And I appreciate your likes, shares, and subscriptions. What is going on with you guys for this week? Now, we're talking about Tuesday, April 30th to Tuesday, May 7th. What is happening? Like always, we are going to start with Aries. Let's see what I'm getting for you. All of a sudden, Aries, I have a couple different things going on. I have a wave of water, which always symbolizes emotion. It can also represent the state of your life or the circumstances in your life at that time. What I'm feeling is that this wave is high, it's quite tall, and that can uh, represent a, an overwhelming situation or overwhelming feelings. I see it coming at you over here from the future and uh, it's almost like you go up against the wave instead of allowing yourself to be taken with it. I see you going up against it in what would appear to be a high speeding vehicle. Now a vehicle is always going to represent you being in power or control in your life. The fact that I see this almost like a rebuttal of the situation itself um, makes me wonder if that's what you were supposed to do or not. What I'm feeling from your ancestors, your guides, your loved ones over here is that that's an okay approach to take, but that you're going to be very tired and some of the stuff, some of the people, some of the relationships that you're fighting so hard against, you could really just allow to pass and to exit your life. It's almost like left stage, okay? So you're going to have to decide, am I spending too much energy fighting against things or trying to explain myself properly to people and in different situations when I should just be letting it go and not really bothering anymore, all right? So that's sort of a, a theme for you. I'm also seeing... um. I want to say make sure you're not emotionally eating this week. For those of you who've been trying to lose a little weight, this could be a bit of a setback if you start to just, you know, comfort food uh, like I do. So don't allow that to happen. Stay focused on where it is that you're trying to be. I am hearing three days in. Okay, so if we're going from Tuesday, we're going to... Okay, so we're going um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I'm going to say Thursday, Friday. We do have a potential promotion coming to you. For some of you, it's going to come from your boss, your higher ups. For those of you who own businesses or you're getting a training or education, it could be almost like a certificate, an honor, or it could be a booking with like a client or something that will bring you long lasting income. So that's also good. Taurus, what's going on with you? I hear whispers, whispers, whispers. Um, I'm hearing your guides whispering to you and I'm hearing you needing to get in touch with your higher mind. If your right ear ever rings, a lot of people think that they have tinnitus. I talk about this all the time. The grandmothers used to say, left for love, right for spite, and that was fairly accurate. When your right ear is ringing, it's your higher mind trying to deliver a message to you and I'm getting that with you. It's also often your guides trying to get you to pay attention to your higher mind. The information that I see coming to you this week has a lot to do with taking advantage of some situations, possibly through people or networking that you are overlooking and making it your own. If people have been saying to you, hey, come over here and try this. Maybe you need to relo relocate over this way. Maybe this is a better school for you or this job is a better fit for you or come and study this with me. It's almost like you're not hearing it. You're saying, I'm good where I am. I'm good where I am. And I think that it's important to remember that sometimes in the still small voices are the biggest, loudest messages. And this isn't something that's going to come and continuously bombard you. You're going to have to just listen to something subtle and go forward with it. The other thing that I'm hearing with you, Taurus, is um a lot of laughter. And my sense here is that you could have um, people trying to get you to come and engage with them and that you could sort of be the life of the party this week. I'm hearing especially on Thursday and 
Friday, possibly even into Saturday morning. And some family members needing you, a family reunion, um, some people trying to reach out to you to get you to spend time with them on Saturday uh, afternoon. And some of them will be deceased loved ones or loved ones of your social circle trying to get messages through you and to you for others, okay? So be open, be mindful, and listen and deliver. Gemini, what's going on with you for the week? Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is, um, hmm, okay. So I have some things creeping up behind you, and I want to say that this is a good week to have your guard up. This is a good week to pay attention to whether or not you have found yourself in a unique position to move up another level. I always say new level, new devil. And I, uh, I have a 48 minute long short lecture on this on my YouTube channel at Ask Medium and it's called Fighting the Dark. This would be a great opportunity for you to sit down and listen to that to understand the different ways that we tend to be under attack. It could potentially slow down our progress every time we're ready to move up a new level. I have talk going on behind you. The other thing that's coming in though is an opportunity from your past. Over here to my left, I have stacks of cash, stacks of bills. Now that's big money and that is something well worth accepting. I honestly don't know how you would turn it down, so I'm really not even going to talk about it too much. But anyways, it's something from your past. It's something that was maybe a fall into the wayside something that was in the works back then, and it's resurrecting itself. Coming back around for you. I also have a lot of talk of, um, I see you guys eating apples. Now, apples do represent children in my symbol base, so it's spending more time with your children, especially on Wednesday evening, Thursday um, morning and afternoon. And for some of you, it has to do with teaching. So you may see an expansion on your communications, your teaching, whatever it is that you do out in front of groups. Okay. Cancer. What's going on with you for the week? Love, love, love. It's all about romance. All about romance. Um, I see somebody coming in who is destiny charted in your future. Uh, my brilliant astrologer, Christina Del Rey, uh, she, I could put her name in the uh, comments and her uh, information there. If you guys are interested, just post that you want it. Um, she would call this North Node Connection. When we look at an astrological chart, we see South Node, we understand that that's past life connection with the person. When we see North Node, it means that yes, there's that, but there's also work to do together going forward. And I feel you guys attracting someone with a lot of North Node Connection. This is going to mean that it's a significant love partnership and it's the kind of thing that you would really want to invest in dot your eyes cross your t's handle it delicately this one is of tremendous value uh so that's pretty exciting i also have a little bit of money um also in larger stacks of bills but being swept out from under you so that's not always what we want to see, but what it can mean is that um, you're going to have to prepare for some unexpected finances, the bills just keep coming in, whatever it is. The fact that it's going out from under you and to the front, though, is free will. So it's entirely possible that you could avoid some of this if you're really smart, really crafty, and uh, you maybe nip it in the bud quickly. Leo, what's going on with you? First three days, first three days, I have winning the lottery, quite literally, so some of you may quite, and I'm not going to get into all that, okay, or numbers, or don't even, but, but, um, I do have almost like a lottery type situation. Now, this could literally be the lottery, this could be something at the casino, not that I promote per se, but, uh, for some of you, it feels to me like it's more about a really, really good luck type situation that falls into your lap. And I feel like this is one of like only a couple opportunities in a lifetime may come up uh, for you in this manner. And you're supposed to, um, I want to say focus all your energy on that, getting acquainted with it and really embracing it, bringing it into your life in a way that can work. Some of what's coming to you this week, especially on, I want to say Tuesday we have a hit, on Thursday we have a hit, could cause some disruption. 
in your personal affairs. So if you have a lover, you have a spouse, um, you even maybe have children that are saying, this isn't working, we don't like your schedule being different, we don't like you being more unavailable, whatever it is. Um, I wanna say that it's important you're giving the best that you can in balance, but when an opportunity like this shows up, you just have to take it, and you are going through some change, Leos, so you're just gonna have to be like, look, it's me time, okay? It's me time, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you, okay? You, you can't, here's a, you can't give from an empty cup, right? So that's your theme, especially Thursday and Friday. Virgo, what's going on with you? I see all these cats coming in, all these cats. Um, Interesting. So I see a couple cats coming in and what that can mean is sometimes uh, that you need to watch your back a little bit with the people around you. But now for some of you that may be the case, what I'm actually feeling from these cats though is that they're very slick, they're very sly and these are people in your circle who have something for you or they would be able to say to you, come with me, do this, do it my way or I have this connection and they're offering you something really significant here. So I want to say take it. Um, one of the three does seem to be a little bit of a weak link. You wouldn't want to just go with that one without the other ones first, but certainly opportunity being there. I'm hearing a lot from grandfathers. I'm hearing a lot from brothers, living or deceased. Brothers can also represent your male friends, or I don't like to say male or female. It's just masculine or feminine, okay? So possibly friends with masculine energy. It seems that they're coming to you and they're asking you to spend some time with this, especially on Thursday and Friday. Um... And it seems like you could be uh, revisiting this on Saturday evening if you can't get to it on those days. But just because they're coming in, they're just saying, you know, come and hang out with me, doesn't mean that they don't actually really need that. Okay, they do. So make time for them, please. Libra, what's going on with you? Stacks and stacks and stacks of what looks to me like cement blocks. Now, anytime I see bricks or I see cement blocks, I'm thinking more in terms of laying down a foundation or at least having the potential to lay down a foundation because you have the tools. What I'm seeing are three big cement blocks and it feels to me like it's up to you what you do with these. Um, each one is an individual situation, but two of them are connected and one is very different. One has also been here for a while or has been discussed in the past and the other two are more current and future. So what we could be seeing um, is you deciding how and if you're going to take these opportunities and you're going to fit them into your life. You may have feminine energy or a partner, a love partner telling you, this doesn't fit, we can't do this, this doesn't make any sense, let's focus on what we already agreed to do, let's not rock the boat. And sometimes you just have to be like, look, I have to be creative, okay? Like we can't live by the book all the time. If you don't ever share it up and take a risk and just take a leap in blind faith I mean how are you ever really going to have tremendous gains or see you know how the universe works or what's out there for you so you you may be making some decisions about what you're going to do with these um, potential foundational pieces for your money and your life up against someone who doesn't want you to okay so keep your mind open and you're gonna uh, it's gonna be all about compromise okay uh, Scorpio and some of you may just be like, I'm not willing to compromise on this, okay, and just go forward. And that would be fine, too. Um, Scorpio, let's see what's going on with this. Hmm. Okay, I, I have uh, an issue coming up from behind you. Now, I call that skeletons in the closet, stuff swept under the carpet, or unfinished business. What's happening is that it's coming up from behind you and it's trying to grab and pull at your future free will direction. And what that's going to mean is that this this resurrecting issue is yours. It's you. It's a part of you. It's your thought process. It's your emotional state. It's an unresolved issue in some way. And it is, it is trying to hold you, I want to say either accountable or hold you back from something in the future that you could potentially have that has a great deal of prosperity in it. I don't feel like I'm just talking about work. I feel like I'm also talking about your life contract. Your, the work that is within your life contract that is your soul's purpose can be very different from where you get your paycheck every day. It can also be far more creative and spiritual and a whole bunch of stuff. But 
there's also a potential love partner connected to this. And for some of you, it's going to be more like family. So if you resolve this issue, you will be able to have those things in a productive way. If you don't, you're probably going to be treading water for a while longer. I'm also feeling like on Thursday and Friday, you may want to watch your vehicle, especially the back tires or the back of the car. And this can, again, represent you in a power position. And when we're having trouble with the back, we're having trouble with things from behind us, and you may be not feeling that you have a ton of power over those things. So just be mindful of that as you go forward. Sagittarius, what's going on? Okay, I have a lot of grandmother energy coming in here, maternal energy, mothers, sisters, aunties, grandmamas. They are coming forward on, I want to say Tuesday and Wednesday. It's going to be more like Wednesday evening, possibly Thursday evening through dreams. Watch for prophetic dreams, visit dreams from them. Also messing with your technology and using birds as animal totems to let you know that they have a message for you. We want to see the birds moving from the left to the right, not the right to the left. That means you're going backward. Um, I also see a lot of caterpillars and butterflies coming through with these ladies. They're coming to bring you comfort, but they're also coming to tell you it's time, it's time. They keep tapping the watch. That means it's time to make some changes that you've been procrastinating on. And I feel like if you don't voluntarily do it, it's going to sort of be pulled, okay, a little bit out of your hands. And it could be more of an uncomfortable transition, especially come Thursday and Friday. So just work with it. Go with the flow. I'm also hearing... Um, Pamper yourself Friday and Saturday, mostly Friday afternoon. Pamper yourself. Not that I encourage tanning per se, but I see a bunch of you going to the tanning booth or just being like, look, I just need something, okay? And I, I want to feel better about myself. Get your hair done. Get the nails done. Um, boys, go to the barber. Do whatever it is that you do, okay? But feel good and pamper yourself and spend some alone time with yourself um, on that day. On, uh, let's see, where am I? Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. Okay, let's see what's happening with you. Hmm, there's a lot of energy coming over here from your future. And I wanna say that your guides are getting very dominant about talking to you, especially when you're sleeping at night. I wouldn't be surprised if you've been hearing your voice called or if you've been waking up and feeling that there's someone literally in your face or staring at you, that's your work guide. Uh, this is a situation right now where the information is coming to you and it's going over here to your past. We want to analyze this week, and I don't have particular days for you, although Monday may be a hit day with your work and career where you're really, really focused on this. But we're talking about what have you trained in? Where is your education? Where have you been? Where have you been putting in effort and time? And how can you take that and have it actually help you with where you want to be going? For those of you, and I'm hearing it's quite a few of you, you're like, I don't really know what I, where I want to be going. I don't really know what I'm here to do. You need to book a life contract reading with me or you need to sit with your work guide and ask them to show you what is my soul's purpose? What am I here to do? You are in a two month period of golden opportunity to develop this thing and have it just really skyrocket and take off for you. For a lot of you, I'm supposed to say launch that business. Okay, self-employment, sales position, looking real good for you guys. There could be a baby on the way. For those of you who've been trying to um, work within foster care, adoption, conception, in any way there could be a baby on the way and I want to say especially Thursday and Friday possibly even Sunday evening so do what you need to do um, but that is an open window of opportunity okay for those of you who aren't interested close that window on up okay be very very mindful on those days Aquarius what's happening with you I see you on a bicycle on a bicycle I see you going in several different directions you've been feeling a little bit lost lately clearly um You've been feeling like you have some sense of peace. You're somewhat in control of your life because I do see you actually riding this bicycle. It's not laying there on the side of the path, but the, the path under you is a bit bumpy and it's not the smoothest ride I've ever seen. I see you going to the right, which is the future. Then I saw you making a complete opposite turn and going back this way, which is going to mean that you procrastinated or you took what you thought you were supposed to be doing and you decided polar opposite. You went the completely opposite way and you stopped progressing. And then it's like you, you started going forward, which is like, well, maybe I could. Well, maybe I could put one foot in the water. This is not a week for putting your toes in the water. You either dive or you don't. And there aren't 
too many options in between here. Sometimes you're just going to have to take that leap of blind faith and do it. I would highly suggest it. It does feel like it would be profitable for you. For those of you who are also debating on love, especially come Tuesday, you may be feeling as though you're getting a bit of an ultimatum from your partner. And that might be fairly accurate that they're saying to you, um, look, either this train's going forward or I'm getting off of it. Okay, I've spent enough time here. And that may be one of the areas that you have to seriously examine. What do you want? Okay, what are you feeling? Uh, you're, you're thinking way too much about things, way too much. Try to go right brain intuitive, less left brain logical on these uh, topics. Pisces, last one of the zodiac. What is going on with you for this week? I've hit and miss days, so some of the days of the week here are going to be real quiet for you, but Tuesday is loud, and then it's like Thursday evening is loud, and then it's Saturday morning is loud. Sunday, I need you to recoup. I see you by water, which is going to represent cleansing process, letting go of things. If you have not been processing what's been happening in your life for the last month, month and a half, because you've been saying things like, I've been too busy, or um, these things are emotionally disturbing, or it's too much stress, that's not an excuse. You are the only one who can process your life. And if you don't process it emotionally, mentally, give yourself enough time to sit in peace and quiet, not in the traditional meditative sense, but just allowing your brain to think and not be distracted by technology and other people, uh, you are going to have a buildup of energy and it's going to haunt you at night. So you really need to take all of Sunday to do that for yourself. What I'm feeling on those other hit days is more masculine energy or someone dominant coming in and whispering something to you, whispering something to you. And I feel like it's a juicy piece of gossip. I feel like it's something uh, that's going to spark your attention and maybe uh, make you rethink work and where your life is headed. For some of you, it might influence your living situation, your residency. We could also be looking at like picking up a roommate. And for some of you, it's about love. It's about a love partner. And this person is telling you in one way, shape or form, this is what's going on with someone who's very interested in you. I have more talk of uh, examining a love partnership and a commitment on that second day in that I was referring to. And it seems to me that this is going to be potentially a prosperous week for you if you can continue to maintain at the energy level where you've been. And uh, I see you eating ice cream cones, which has a lot to do with your money. Okay, so work looks good and steady, but you need to process. And I would say this, this is good for everybody. Before you bring another person into the show with you in your day-to-day -day life, if you're not processing, that's just going to end up being a big old mess too, okay? So give them the time and attention they deserve by first taking care of your own self. Hope you guys have a great week. Again, your extended weekly horoscopes are up on my YouTube channel at Ask a Medium. For this week, and I will be putting up a new set of extended weekly horoscopes uh, for the upcoming week here soon. To catch my next Ask Medium live show where I'm taking your personal questions on Facebook and Instagram, that's going to be Friday, May 10th at 9 p.m. Eastern. Hope to have you.